Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Talk. My name is Rob, and today I'm going to be going over the Autolog collimation for the SX10. Today, I've got it set up on a tripod. It's leveled up, it's connected. I'm also going to be using a bipod with a pocket prism on top. You can use a couple of other prisms, but I found that the size of this prism is going to give you the best accuracy. So, once we're ready, let's go into our menu. We're going to go to Instrument. We're going to go to Adjust. And before we start any of these uh, adjustments, we want to make sure that we do the compensator calibration. It only takes a minute, but it's well worth it. Okay, ensure you have a stable setup. My legs are kicked in, all ready to go. And here we go. Now that the compensator calibration is complete, we're going to take the bipod with the mirror on it, 330 feet away from the SX-10. Okay, now that we set our prism about 330 feet or 100 yards, a little over a soccer field away, now we're going to start our autolog collimation. Okay, so we're ready to go to the autolog collimation. Hit next. Let's find our target. Target locked. All right, and we found our target. Let's zoom in to see where we're at and make sure it's on the correct point. There we go. And as you can see, there's a little bit of uh, heat waves here. Normally, you'd want to try and do this on an overcast day where there's not too much heat waves. Right now, I'm in a field where there are some. Of course, you're not going to want to do this on concrete. It's going to really, really um, intensify the heat wave. So just keep that in mind when, it, when you're doing this. Uh, all right, we're going to hit next. And you can see our current values here. We've got uh, a negative 1 and a negative 5 uh, on our horizontal and vertical. Uh, but that's okay. Let's see what we got now. Aiming to target. All right, we're already on the target and start the collimation. No target. Target locked. All right, and as you can see, it did make a small adjustment, the new values. Looks like the horizontal had changed slightly and the vertical as well. So now that we're auto-locked, collim collimated, we can hit accept and we're good to go. Let's uh, give a short test run of this and see how it does. As you can see, it was a success. It was tracking us just fine. Even when we went behind an obstacle, it came out on the other side and continued tracking us. So, looks like we're ready to get surveying. Thank you for joining me on this Tech Talk, and I hope to see you on another one.